Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about custom user data and how you can use it to do things like set mobile worker permissions and manage the kind of information that is exclusively available to certain mobile workers via Comcare HQ. Um, so first, I'm going to show you a little demo of a uh, mobile application. This mobile worker is Anne, and she is a community health worker. Um, and so when she logs into her app, she is able to see two modules, uh, the registration module and the mother's module. Um, next, we're going to log in as Nick. And Nick is Anne's supervisor. And so he's going to have to have permission to see a slightly different set of modules. And so you'll see that in addition to the registration and the mother's module, uh, Nick also has a supervision module, which he can go into and access, which uh, Anne, because she's not a supervisor, cannot. Um, going back to Anne, uh, you can also use this feature to load in uh, specific data that's relevant only to this mobile worker and then use it to complete calculations within the form. Uh, so for example, uh, Anne has uh, one mother that she's going to perform a follow-up visit with right now, Beth from Arlington. Uh, so she's going to go into the follow-up form. Uh, the name Beth is already preloaded loaded into the form. And Anne is going to see about providing vitamins to this woman. Uh, so we're going to ask, how many vitamins did you give to this woman? Uh, let's say three. Now, uh, using custom user data, we preset a price at which this user is selling her vitamins. So this user is selling her vitamins for $15 per package. Uh, so the total price for three vitamin packages is 45 And submit this form. And so, now we're going to log in as Nick, if we get the password right. And we're going to go to that same module, and we're going to check in on Amy. And we're going to see that Nick operates in a different district than Anne, and so the price of vitamins is going to be a little bit different. So we're once again going to sell this woman three packages of vitamins. Whoop. And you can see that Nick is selling the vitamins for $25 a package. And so the total cost of the three packages of vitamins for Nick is going to be $75. Now, how did we set this up? Well, you can see here that Nick is a supervisor. And so we referenced a user case property called uh, supervisor. And that toggle is set to yes. And when that toggle is set to yes for that user, they'll be able to see the supervision menu, which allows them to look at modules that are uh, modules and forms that are related to supervision as opposed to just uh, following up directly with pregnant women. Um, so where does that get set? Well, you can set a piece of custom user data, which is automatically updated to the user case and therefore can be used in the form uh, in the following way. Uh, first, we go to the mobile workers tab. And next, we click on this button right here called Edit User Fields. I'm just going to tab over there. And you can see I've already set this up. Uh, you have the user property supervisor, um, the label of which is user is a supervisor. And you can add choices here. So you can either, for each user, they can either be yes, they are a supervisor, or no, they are not. Um, I also have vitamin price. Uh, and here, I'm not going to add any choices. And that's going to mean that, I, that the answer here is just going to be free text. So for every user, you can set the price to be whatever you want. Um, and you can add a new field using this green button, just to show you what it looks like. And then you just fill it in as you go. You can add choices. But we're not going to add any more uh, custom user property data right now. So I'm going to delete this field, uh, save this. And then we're going to toggle back to our mobile workers, and we can see Anne and Nick. And so you can see here, uh, under additional information, we have the custom user properties. Anne is not a supervisor, so no. And the price of Anne's vitamins is 15. Meanwhile, over here on Nick, 
Uh, Nick is a supervisor, and the price of his vitamins is going to be 25. So now that we've set those on the user, uh, on the custom user data properties, we can go over here and just easily reference uh, those properties as though they were user case properties. Uh, so we set up a display condition for a module uh, using hashtag user slash whatever we want that custom user property to be. So in this case, it's supervisor. Uh, we could also say and uh, price vitamins is greater than 15. For some reason, we don't want to display this if the price is less than 15, um, just as an example. Uh, we can also go into a form and load these properties in, just like other user case properties, and use them to do math. Um, so before, you saw the questions we have. Uh, how many vitamins did you give this woman? Uh, we have the total price of vitamins. And, and to get that total price, we've just multiplied the price of vitamins, which is loaded in from here as a user case property. Um, oh, it's hiding out, hiding out down there at the very bottom. Uh, so vitamin price. And then we just multiply that times however many we said we'd give total vitamins uh, to the woman. And then down here, we can display the vitamin price, vitamins, and then the total price. And so in this way, we can allow uh, managers and program supervisors to access Comcare HQ and actually change the kind of data that is available to the users on their mobile devices. Cool. I hope you guys found this useful. Thanks.